Father Murphy and I then went from Denver to the training camp in Illinois, where Sonny prepared for his long-awaited meeting with Floyd Patterson. Do you think in general boxers are improving too? Well, I would say slowly but surely. Are they receiving fine coaching? Uh, I know you are. Are others? Well, some fighters, you can tell them, but they won't listen. But I'm a good listener. I know it's for my own good. Sonny, I've worked with athletes for many, many years, and I can say with a high degree of accuracy that I have never really seen anyone train more diligently than you've been doing around here during the last few days. Well, in the morning, I get up at 5 o'clock, and I run about 5 miles. Eventually, I woke up to 5. And after that, I come back and I go to bed. I sleep until about 10 o'clock. And after that, I get up and eat breakfast, take a walk for about a mile and a half. Then I sit around for a few minutes. Then I go back to bed. Then I get up and come over and have me a cup of tea. And I start training, skipping ropes, hitting the heavy bag, light bag, boxing, doing calisthenics. You believe that the man in the best condition certainly uh, has the greater chance to win, I'm sure. Yes, I do. Well, I admire you for paying this price, Sonny. You, you really train hard, and you, do you enjoy training hard? Yes, I do, when I know I've got to fight, huh? <laughs> Sonny, how old were you when you had your first boxing match? Well, when I first started, I was uh, 13. I went to the gym, and I got a Sulacan, so I said, I <laughs> <laughs> That's not for me, and so and then again, I waited until I got 18, when I was big, and I had, I weighed 218, so I figured, I said, well, I'm a man, now I can take it on my own. Did you ever get a chance to fight the fellow who gave you the sh shellacking? No, I never did see him, no more. Matter of fact, I wasn't looking for him either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly a case of good judgment. But when you were fighting as a pro, um, <clears throat> Was there any particular fight when you first realized that you, 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 you came in, you're ready to go, you could beat anybody? Cleveland William, when I fought Cleveland William after, and I went to the dressing room, and all the newspaper writers came in, so we, now that we believe you can take it after that fight, and... He must have been real tough. He was, he could punch real hard, and he was fast. And after that fight, I felt that I could beat anybody. You're a bigger muscle. Yes, he, he was all muscle. He even had muscles in his eyes. <laughs> Sonny, someone said during your press conference yesterday that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I thought your answer was wonderful. Yeah. How do they go? The bigger they are, the harder they is to cut down, too. <laughs> <laughs> you have to chop that big tree a lot harder and a lot longer. Yes, sir. What's wrong, uh, Sonny, with the kids in our country today? They don't seem to have much enthusiasm for exercise. Do you have any comments on that? Well, I think their parents buying them cars too quick. Yeah. It used to be that when they get 18, they want a bicycle. Now they get 18, they want a car. Sonny, uh, what advice would you give to a, a young lad who came to you and said, I want to become a boxer? What would you tell him as regards training and so forth? Well, they always told me anything you want to do. Do your best and be the best at it. And the training part, he has to pay a price, doesn't he? Yes, he do. That's a really train for anything you go out there, you have to train at it. You get out of it what you put into it, pretty much. Yes, you do. Oh, if you uh, <clears throat> should win the championship, uh, do you have any plans on what you're going to do after that? Uh, I would like to work with the uh, kids in the Center and everything. Mm -hmm. They need help, don't they? Yes, they do. Sonny, tell me, what was the happiest moment of your entire career? The happiest moment? Mm -hmm. Well, when I married my wife, was the happiest moment of my career. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have any real sad moments? Well, when they turned me down for license in New York to fight for the championship, mm -hmm. something I have always wanted to do. It was kind of sad that they did it, but it, Chicago made me very proud of it. And I'm sure you're, you're uh, happy over Patterson's attitude, uh, his willingness to fight you. Uh, he said some nice things about you, Sonny. Yes, he did. I really, it's a 
was surprised that he stood up for me like he did. We're very happy.